All right, so this is supposed to be the most amazing car on the planet. It's pretty dang close. I mean, Tupac probably wrote some poems in this thing. I know, uh, I know it's an extremely huge deal, but... I know what you're thinking. Those rims aren't big, but in 1996, boy, those things were huge. They look huge to me. <laughs> There's a car dealership here in Vegas that actually has the car that Tupac was shot in. I'm bringing Warwick with me because he's my music memorabilia guy. It's been 20 years since Tupac passed away. A lot of his personal items have come up for sale and they're going for a lot of money. Good to see you. How you doing? How's it going? It looks pretty cool. You got all the documentation back to, this is the car he got shot in. We do, we have the lease paperwork showing that Death Row Records actually was the leaseor and that Tupac was the one that was writing in it. You guys give it a once over and let me know what you think. Thanks. So remind me, what happened here? It was 1996. It happened here in Las Vegas after a Tyson fight. Tupac ran with a bunch of like LA bloods and there was a bunch of LA Crips here at the fight and they got into an altercation. And then later on that night, when they're leaving the fight, car pulls up side and opens fire on Tupac in the passenger seat and Suge Knight in the driver's seat. Two of his albums from this period have gone on to the diamond status, which means 10 million plus sold. And he's still selling records to this day. So I'm gonna put this in the same range as Tupac's Hummer, which made $200,000. All right, thanks, man. You're welcome. I think you should really think about this. You call Bill up and maybe get some advice from him? All right, I'm gonna do that right now. This is seriously the only time Chum has took me to school. To bring it up to your date and age, this is the Jimi Hendrix of hip hop. I keep on feeling older and older today, just so you guys know. <laughs> yeah, these are pictures of uh, the car the weekend after this took place on the tow truck taking it back to California. So it's been a while, she looks a little different. Okay, so where's the, where would the bullet holes be? So you got one up here, top of the driver's door, a couple underneath the door, door handle, and then a couple in the back seat. If you look carefully, there's one that went through the bottom of the windshield right here. I guess all that's been repaired? Yeah, it's surprising to me the car's still around. I mean, based on the condition it was in and it being uh, part of a crime, the wheels look similar to the wheels that were on it, which is kind of your first dead giveaway when you look at it. I mean, obviously, the, the, she's been polished up a little bit, but. Uh, Man, this is, a, this is definitely a unique piece. Okay, so my problem is, it's a little weird. It's not like you right. have like a great celebrity and this is the car he drove in a movie and he drove it really fast and all that. This was a car a celebrity got shot in and died a few days later. So in the car world, there's the drivability factor. You can own a piece of history and actually drive it and it really won't devalue it so much. But this car, because of the connection to a crime and a murder and all that stuff, establishing that value is the tough part. Who's your demographic that's going to buy this car that's got the discretionary income to buy this car? You're talking big money players. Well, I think the right place, the right auction, this car, half a million to a million bucks. Okay. Thanks, man. All right. If Rick can come to a deal and buy this car, this is hands down the coolest thing we've ever purchased. It's definitely the coolest thing we've ever had a chance to purchase. Well, what do we think? Um, how much you want for the car? We're actually asking $1.5 million. Whoa. It's a big number. Yeah. I've actually already had an offer at 900,000 from a guy overseas. And you Believe didn't it take it? We did not take it, we turned it down. We think there's money there. What do you think, Chum? I mean, I don't know. It's a pretty freaking cool car. This is a very iconic car in more ways than one. It's got a lot of cool stuff tied into it. Well, you think you can beat 900, Rick? I mean, the best I can figure is it's gonna go between 200,000 and a million dollars in an auction, and it just sort of depends on the auction. So, a lot more than I'm willing to pay for it, but uh, I really appreciate it. No problem, thank you very much. How much, I'm Seriously? What do you mean, seriously? Oh, I can't believe it. Tupac. I'm just passing on the car because I'm just not gonna risk this kind of money. At least I got a whole education from Chum. And when I learned something from Chum, it's a pretty rare occasion. <laughs> Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a past? I caught the ball myself. He's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this?
Sounds so fun.